Hey, this is Dylan from the Art and Nature Center at the PBD Essex Museum, and today I'm going to be showing you how to make spiders and their webs. This is a fairly simple activity, and you're going to start by having your black piece of paper and a pair of scissors. So the first part is you want to cut out a mobile, then a smaller circle. So now we have these two components. If you have a glue stick, you can glue them together. Right now, I just have some scotch tape. Either would work, all right. So you're gonna overlap them like this, kind of like a snowman. And then you are going to tape it together. Now, we flip it over and we have the body of our spider. We actually wanna decorate the spider. So this is gonna be the back and this is gonna be the face. I have some googly eyes right here and I have a white china marker. If you have a white crayon, that would work perfectly as well. As you can see here, we have the googly eyes on the spider. Now I'm gonna decorate it. I think my spider is gonna have a feisty, but very goofy personality. So I got some eyebrows on him, got a big smile, and then I'm just gonna decorate his back a little bit there. Here's my spider. The next part, pipe cleaners. So I'm just gonna guesstimate the length. If I look at the spider and I go like this, and I want it to overlap a little bit because we're gonna take these to the bottom of the spider. So just about here should be okay. And then we can take one of them and this will help us measure the same exact length all over again, as you can see here. We have our goofy little spider here and we're gonna flip it over. And for the legs, I want to make sure that we can actually see a little bit of their feet. So we're just gonna overlap the foot a little bit, like this. We are going to get it in the shape that we want it to be in, something like that. And each time we're gonna tape it down. That way we don't lose any legs. Okay, so this was actually the easy part, putting together the spider. So now we can flip them over and we have our spider. So the next part will actually be making the web. You will want a thin piece of white paper. Tracing paper will also do. I just have a sheet of white printer paper right now. And the first thing we're gonna do actually is fold it in half like this corner to corner. And we're actually gonna cut off this excess right here. So we cut off this extra piece of paper. The next part is to fold that triangle in half. Once more again. And then take this corner right here. Fold it here. Cut the paper. You want to cut it so it's curved. It might be a little bit difficult because of the resistance from all the folded paper. You're gonna cut across here and you're not gonna go all the way. You will leave a spine basically against the edge and then you're gonna cut back out. So you wanna keep this part here. It's very important to make sure that you don't cut this away. And then we're gonna do that again and again all the way until you get to the bottom point of your triangle. It's kind of like a different way to make snowflakes. We have this, this spider, it's kind of like a snowman, and we have the web, which is kind of like a snowflake. So here we have some ridges, and then we are able to unfold it, and then you have your spider web. So now that we have our spider web, we can take our spider, and we can make him at home here. And that's how you make a spider in their web. Thanks for joining me. See you next time.